Turns out two married MAGA stars have been having an affair for years. And it's been an open secret, but now confirmed according to multiple reports. Now, who cares? Why would we do this story? However, when it comes to anyone else, especially the left, Democrats, progressives, anyone who isn't themselves, wanting to live their own lives, love who they want to love, dress how they want to dress, identify how they want to identify. Man, does MAGA and the right have a lot of things to moralize on. But when it comes to them, eh, they can do whatever they want. So who is this? Well, it's married South Dakota Governor Kristi Noem, 51 years old, who stresses her belief in family values. And Trump advisor Corey Lewandowski, who is yeah, also married, and they began carrying on in 2019, if not before. Uh, and again, this is according to the Daily Mail and the New York Post. There they are together. This is one of, it turns out, many dozens of photos they have together. We don't, we didn't collect them all for you. Uh, you can go look at them if you want. Um, again, I just want to say this is a Daily Mail and the New York Post. Obviously, a little trashy. That's why they're covering an affair like this. But I just, you know, full disclosure. The Daily Mail investigation has uncovered extensive evidence of the couple's romantic relationship, dozens of trips that mix business with pleasure, flights on donors, private planes, stays at luxury resorts where their intimacy was observed and noted. This is according to a staffer of Gnomes. We often had no idea where she was or eat or if she was even in state or out of state, she would simply disappear. Um, and then in 2019, this is sort of when it seems to have begun. Um, Corey Lewandowski was a key advisor to Noam, and the pair went on a deep sea fishing trip hosted by the late conservative billionaire and GOP mega donor Foster Fries, who, along with his wife Lynn, ranked among Noam's top political and financial supporters. Um, and then again on the 2020 uh, Trump campaign trail, it seems like their relationship was just out in the open, everyone knew about it. And only recently, uh, Lewandowski's even been lobbying Trump to make Christy Noam his running mate in 2024. Um, just so we all know, Christy Noam is married. Um, she has three children with her husband, Byron. Um, they've been married for 30 years. Corey Lewandowski also is married to actually a 9-11 widow named Allison Hardy. And in 2005, uh, in 2005 and has four children and did not respond to requests for comment. Um, but before we go on, because there is more, just okay, open secret, everybody knows they've been observed by everyone. And um, again, shoe on the other foot if like, <laughs> you know, if I don't know, pick anybody, right? Like if anyone from the Biden team, I mean, God, we're talking about like Hunter Biden's every single detail of his life, every single mistake he's ever made, we're obsessed with, right? Every single person he's ever slept with. But here on this, it just kind of washes over. Um, I don't know, maybe it will break through in the right wing circles. Yeah, so I, it's also relevant because uh, it's gonna affect the VP pick for Donald Trump. Uh, but let me break it down. So first of all, when politicians disappear, uh, they'll say they're on the Appalachian Trail, but I got news for you, they're on a different trail, okay? It's almost always because they're cheating. And so Daily Mail is a little sus, so I wanted to make sure that they had the goods here. So as I read and read, my God, they went to every event in every conceivable, they're at an attorney general's event for Republicans. I'm like, wait, Christy Noem's not an attorney general. No, she just randomly went to an attorney general event at a different state because Lewandowski was going to be there. They're in Vegas together. They're in Miami together. They go to like random like hoedowns in Nashville. It's not in Nashville, mm. but they were going to the most oh kitty cat petting events in Louisville. <laughs> like it was ridiculous. No matter like like dozens of events, and everybody's like, where the hell is the governor of South Dakota, right? And uh, and so and her hypocrisy on this is not a little bit. She super aggressively ran on family values. And not just a man and a woman, that kind of stuff. She's like, one man, one woman, one Corey Lewandowski. Makes for an excellent <laughs> reality show. <laughs> no, you didn't mention the Corey part, right? Now, the reason it affects the vice presidential conversation is not because, oh, Trump's going to be reluctant because of her hypocrisy on family values. <laughs> Trump doesn't care about family values at all. I wouldn't care about that one bit, wouldn't care about the hypocrisy part, wouldn't care about the family values part. No, he's gonna be jelly jelly. So Lewandowski's <laughs> done this to him before. 
Trump yes. also is into all the attractive women around him. And number one on his list, according to rumors, was Hope Hicks, who worked with him at the White House. And it turns out Lewandowski was alleged to have an affair with her as well. And that's when Trump finally snapped on Lewandowski. So it doesn't have yeah. anything to do with Lewandowski being one of the worst people on earth. But if when he found out that he she, he might be sleeping with the girl he had a crush on, Trump's like, that's it, he's out, he's out, <laughs> okay? And so now well, Jake, Christy Noem's uh, dropping to the bottom of that list because Trump's gonna be mad. It wasn't him. Oh, absolutely. He had so many thoughts about like, he was so mad that Lewandowski was sleeping with Hope Hicks, which honestly like, Lewandowski really trying to tank every woman's career that he's ever like been involved with. I just but on that on when he was fired, it it might have been around Hope Hicks, but there's you know Lewandowski is also kind of a dog and more than a, dog, a creep, a predator. Uh, it seems like actually he hit on the wrong woman back in 2021. Um, again, he wasn't faithful to Christy Noem in terms of who he was trying to cheat on his wife with. Um, he was at a banquet table. Uh, this was this is this uh, old reporting at back in 2021. He was at a banquet table where he was joined dignitaries, joined dignitaries including Treshell Odom, wife of a major Trump donor, construction executive John Odom. Lewandowski propositioned Odom after disclosing that he had once stabbed two people to death, that his penis was way longer than normal and showed her his hotel key. Odom fled the table after Lewandowski touched her behind, but he chased after her, threw a drink at her and called her stupid, real just classy stuff. Um, so that was one instance that apparently was like, no, you can't hit on a donor's wife. Can you stop? But even back in 2017, a pro-Trump singer Joy Villa said Lewandowski slapped her backside real hard at a holiday party. When Villa told him to keep her his hands to himself, Lewandowski reportedly told her, go ahead, I work in the private sector, and then smacked her butt again. I mean, I don't know why any of this should surprise any of us, and especially if there is any Republican woman watching, yeah. This is your party, this is MAGA, this is the kind of dripping misogyny that you elevate, that you elect, I urge you to elect better. And even when it comes to your so-called strong women like Hope Hicks, like you know, Christy Nome, governor, they are belittled by someone like Corey Lewandowski. Anyway, that it the that's all I have to say, Mark. You yeah, well, he, uh, he knocks around with that locker room talk that we heard so much about from uh, Donald Trump. But it's uh, pretty remarkable that he's able with that White House schedule to uh, carry on uh, a marriage, an affair, and then have another affair with a White House staffer. Got to give the guy credit for uh, pretty much having no off switch. Uh, it's a grotesque uh, uh, hypocrisy. That, and I think you guys both said it very well. Yeah, so last thing on this is, Look, his lack of respect for everyone is overwhelming. At that event where he was hitting on the donor's wife, Christy Nome was also there. <laughs> and that was like the one time she got mad at him and then refused to go on the next trip with him. <laughs> and then they got back together anyway. And I, if I'm Christy Nome's husband, I am livid. And apparently the reporting says he is livid. And yes, yeah. Lewandowski was fired after hitting on the donor because that might cost Trump money. He was distanced from Trump when he Trump found out about Hope Hicks. Those are two separate incidents. Everybody knows this in the Republican Party. All the sources are Republicans. And yet it yes. still goes on and every day Christy Noem goes on and tells you how in favor she is of family values. It's a joke, it's a joke played on their own voters. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.